What's up, everybody? I'm Simon Sabro, and today we're going to be talking about the new Viz Manga app and is it worth it? All that good stuff. But before we get into that, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Simon Sabro YT. Link will always be down in the description. Also, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss an upload, all of that good stuff. Also, comment down how you feel about the app. Are you excited for it? Just anything like that whatsoever. So with all that out the way, let's just jump right into it. All right, so to start out with, um, there's a lot, honestly. Like I have a whole book with like just a whole list of it right here in front of me because it is a lot that they did with this app. And I'm gonna try not to make the video go on too long, but there's a lot that I need to talk about with this one. So to start out with, and actually to start out with, <laughs> this video is in no way sponsored or what's nothing like that. I just kind of wanted to increase a bit of awareness as well as just put my thoughts on it out there. Just in case you haven't heard of the app yet, which I think everyone has at this point, it's been all over uh, manga Twitter. But to start with, the price of it is just $1.99. And I know not everybody's comfortable paying for apps and stuff like that, but the price of it relative to what you get access to is a lot. And I think like a year or two ago, maybe, I did a video talking about the Shonen Jump app and if that's worth it, and there's going to be a lot of parallels because I'm pretty sure off the top of my head, the price is the same for both of these apps. But the Viz app, they they, they snapped with that one. So to start out with, like I said, the price of it is $1.99. And there are so many series on there that are either completely out of print or just really hard to get your hands on. A lot of longer series uh, off the top of my head, one of them being Boku Rano Hours. I think Volume 3 is cost like an arm and a leg um if i could find like a listing of it somewhere i'll put a picture of it up on screen in case if you're unfamiliar i think it was volume three i'm not 100 sure but like for example because i'm gonna get this app i don't need to buy that volume of course you know there's differences than when like you know some people just want to collect it maybe it's their favorite series blah 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 blah, and they want it physically completely completely understandable but for me, <laughs> I'm not going to spend an arm and a leg on that physical. I'd rather just read it on the app. Um, another thing, while they do have a lot of out of print series, and you're going to see me looking down a lot because my list is right there, but they also do have a lot of newer series on there as well, such as um, off the top of my head, Call of the Night is on there, Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead is on there, Freyren, Beyond Journey's End, Comey Can't Communicate. Um, I'm kind of blanking on the rest, but there's like a lot of series. I even have like a list written down of like some of the series they have. Um, they have Case Closed on there, not really newer per se, but I know like the physicals in English are like years behind the Japanese releases while the app is like up to date. So I know that's a big one for a lot of people. Uh, Insomniacs After School, which did also recently get an anime and volume one recently came out physically. So. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep on collecting it because I could just read it on the app. But while we are talking about that, there is um a bit of a downside with some, some of those newer series where they don't have all of the chapters on there. Like there'll probably be like 50, 30 chapters missing or so that'll get put on the app later. But just knowing that they're even on that app is a really good thing. And knowing that they're gonna bring out the rest of chapters at a later date, who knows when, but it's honestly amazing to see. Um, and on that note, I'll put a screenshot up, but Viz did say that they plan on adding more titles to the, you know, Viz manga app, which is honestly crazy to think about because then they could start adding things like, who knows, um, a lot of Viz signature books, like maybe they might put Goodnight Pun Pun on there, maybe just other Inyo Asano works. Um, like I said, just a lot of other Viz signature books and stuff like that, because they do have uh, What a Wonderful World on there. I'll put a picture up. I'm going to be putting up a lot of pictures as I talk here. But they do have that, which is a work by Inyo Asano. So maybe they'll put, like like I said, other Asano works. They also have a lot of Tayo Matsumoto works. If you're unfamiliar, that's the guy who made Ping Pong, Number 5, um, Sunny, Tekon King Crete. And I think all of those that I just listed are on that app, which is amazing because those are some manga that I wanted to buy, but just never actually bought them. So those are on there. 
there's a lot of series by um or i think they have like five titles by jinji ito if you're interested like i said i'm personally not the biggest fan of ito but they've got uh uzumaki remina i think um uzumaki or I, oh, I just said that i'm sorry uzumaki remina and a couple of other series i don't really care too much for jinji ito stuff but if you're interested in that you're interested in that they do have a lot of stuff like that i think a main you know reason they might have put out the app though is kind of like to deter you know um pirating manga and stuff like that i'm sure people are already going to do it regardless but it is one thing and just knowing that it's like a dollar 99 like i said it's it's honestly crazy to think about personally i'm not the biggest fan of these series because i've never taken the time out to read them but i know there's a lot of really big shoujo manga on there such as uh nana aharu no ride and some other stuff on there i kind of forgot to write them all down because like i said i'm not the biggest fan so i don't keep up with it but i know there's a lot of really big shoujo titles on there i've been seeing it all over like the shoujo subsection of the manga community of them just talking about like how much stuff is on there and the accessibility i think someone even said uh red river is going to be on there or is there or is there soon i'm not really sure but i heard someone say red river is going to be on there and i know that was like or is like one of the really like high scalped <laughs> highly scalped shoujo manga so that's good like i said i don't read it but I'm sure a lot of you out there do care for that a lot. While we're on that topic of like Red River and other out of print series, I think, or it could go both ways, honestly, but the app, like for example, let's say, um, let's say Boku Rano Hours, cause I'm a little more familiar with that one. Let's say it, you know, Viz checks the stats and like everybody is reading that. It might even encourage them to like reprint it you never know or maybe they might be like well everyone's reading it here we don't need to reprint it maybe that's what the app is for so that they don't have to reprint some of these titles but it is nice to know that there's like a very legal way for pretty much almost anybody to access these series that are beloved by many and another big thing I do know that sometime I believe later down this year Kodansha plans on making their own like app uh manga reading app i'm not sure if it's already out yet i'm honestly not sure i think it comes out later this year but it's a bit of competition honestly and i hope that this kind of continues where it's like kodansha puts out an app and then maybe like seven c's puts out an app etc etc like all these publishers put out an app um a dark horse app would be fire if they put like you know the good stuff on it um, that would be fire to see. And while we're on that note, kind of just comment down like what publisher would you love to see have an app? Like I said, mine would be Dark Horse because they have a lot of bangers. They have been reprinting a lot of series lately though, which is cool. But like I said, if some of these uh, publishers did have an app and just the competition, because from what I know in the US at least, only the Shonen Jump app and the Viz app now kind of exists and the manga plus app which does have some more obscure titles but even then i'm pretty sure that's like a i think that's like jump plus kind of because i know there's some jump plus uh series on there like don da don um i know ruri dragon just got put on there they also have like most of the weekly shonen jump stuff so i think that's also like an extension of shonen jump so to my understanding viz and shonen jump kind of got it on lock here in the u.s so to see other like manga publishers kind of get into that same field could be really interesting. Hopefully, you know, the competition doesn't make them start up in prices. Hopefully it doesn't turn into like some type of monopoly. I don't know, I'm not too into the business aspect of things, but it would just be really, really interesting to see. Um, even if you don't, you know, probably plan on getting the app, it doesn't hurt to like check it out. And I'm pretty sure you're able to read like the first three chapters and the latest three chapters of stuff without actually being a member, which is really good. Um, <laughs> from the moment I heard about the app, I already went through and just like dropped the heart on like everything I plan on reading. And it's like a whole list. Um, and honestly, that's kind of it for the video. I just wanted to put my thoughts out there on the app because I've seen a lot of other people mostly tweeting about it but kind of just wanted to put mine into a video put it out there um like i said once again definitely comment down how you felt about the app if you've checked it out yet 
if you haven't definitely go and check it out once again this video is not sponsored whatsoever and let's give a quick shout out to our channel members thank you guys so much for supporting the channel i greatly 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 appreciate it and like i said that's really it for the video once again be sure to follow me on instagram at simon Sabra yt link will always be down in the description also be sure to leave a like subscribe hit that bell so you never miss an upload all of that good stuff and yeah that's it for me this is simon Sabra signing out i catch you on the next one